When you think of Disney and its characters, the first things that spring to mind are generally happy thoughts. Pretty much all of Disney's properties are aimed at children, after all. But there's actually an extremely dark side to the company that describes its theme parks as the happiest places on Earth. If you look closely at some of the most well-known characters in Disney stories, you'll actually see that there are some very troubled individuals who are in desperate need of seeing a shrink. Oh, that makes all the difference, you see. From manic depressives and schizophrenics, to xenophobes and compulsive liars, this video will take a look at a variety of characters with such issues. Here are 10 Disney characters with serious mental disorders. Pinocchio Pinocchio is the name of the wooden puppet boy in the movie of the same name. He's brought to life by a fairy, and told that he could become a real boy if he's brave, truthful, and unselfish. What they can't do these days. Unfortunately, this proves to be difficult for Pinocchio, as he's actually a compulsive, pathological liar. It's kind of his thing. And of course, his nose famously grows whenever he tells a lie. Quiet! Shut him up! But he just can't help himself, and it keeps growing and growing, even when his conscience, Jiminy Cricket, is telling him to speak the truth. Peter Pan Peter Pan is the only character on this list who has a condition named after him. That condition, of course, is Peter Pan Syndrome. The protagonist of his self-titled story, he's the boy who never grows up and is therefore very socially immature. He wants to continue enjoying the carefree pleasures of childhood, even though he's actually an adult. To Peter, time means nothing. His life, in his mind at least, is all about fun, whimsy, and adventure. But this isn't always a good thing, as he can be impractical and conceited at times, which can lead to him getting himself into dangerous situations. Well, all right. Eeyore. There's a solid argument to be made that every character in Winnie the Pooh, even Pooh himself, suffers from some kind of mental disorder. Tigger has ADD, and Piglet has terrible anxiety, for example. I'll probably catch it too. But we don't want to fill a video with them, so we'll stick to the most obvious example. Eeyore the donkey lives his life in a state of constant pessimism. He's quite literally unable to appreciate life's smallest and most basic pleasures due to his crippling depression. You only have to hear how miserable his voice is to appreciate how depressed the poor guy is. Thanks, Pooh. Although he doesn't really speak that often, as his depression keeps him quiet a lot of the time. Guess I'm back where I started. The Evil Queen The Evil Queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs displays textbook narcissism. That's a personality disorder characterized by exaggerated feelings of self-importance, an excessive need for admiration, extreme vanity and selfishness, and a total lack of empathy for others. Silence. Her narcissism is most clearly evident in the famous scene in which she asks her magic mirror who the fairest one of all is, expecting the answer to be herself. When she doesn't get her way, her jealousy of Snow White turns her into a crazy murderer, which would also suggest that she's somewhat of a psychopath. Basically, the lady has issues. Ariel The main character of Disney's classic The Little Mermaid, Ariel actually suffers from a number of serious mental disorders. First of all, she's a chronic kleptomaniac and hoarder. Being obsessed with the human world, Ariel spends a lot of time acquiring, or should we say stealing, objects used by humans. And she has a huge collection of them that she simply refuses to get rid of. But her biggest issue is her severe body dysmorphia. Ariel believes that her mermaid body is defective and needs to be fixed. As a result, she undergoes a mystical form of cosmetic surgery to have her lower body transformed from the tail of a fish into the legs of a human. The poor girl really does have a lot of problems. King Triton Ariel's father in The Little Mermaid, the ruler of Atlantica, has severe xenophobia and calls humans barbarians and dangerous. What about humans? He even has genocidal thoughts about us homo sapiens. Come on man, we're not that bad. The powerful trident-wielding monarch also has some serious anger management problems, and he's prone to extremely violent outbursts. Like the time he callously destroyed the human artifacts that Ariel acquired, <coughs> stole, as a way of trying to get through to her. His aggressive actions and prejudiced attitude towards humans ended up putting a huge strain on his relationship with his daughter, which is never a good thing. When I'm king, what'll that make you? A monkey's uncle. Scar. Scar is an evil lion and the main antagonist of the Lion King movie. He's the brother of Mufasa, and the uncle of Simba, and he suffers from more than one fairly serious mental condition. First and foremost, he's a complete sociopath. He killed his own brother, and attempted to kill his nephew. And at the same time, he also possesses that unsettling creepy charm associated with so many real-life killers. And just between us, you might want to work on that little roar of yours. But he also has a dangerously narcissistic personality disorder, in the sense that he expects people to treat him as their superior. He'll stop at nothing in his aggressive quest to gain power, and he doesn't care about the devastation his actions cause in the process. Cruella de Vil 
Simply put, Cruella de Vil is a psychopath. The villain of 101 Dalmatians takes pleasure in being cruel to animals, which is a classic early indicator of diagnosing psychopaths. In the real world, countless people who have gone on to become serial killers started out harming animals, giving themselves a taste of the power it made them feel, before moving on to killing their fellow humans. Cruella de Vil has absolutely no empathy for the puppies she wants to kill in order to make the perfect fur coat. My only true love, darling, I live for furs. And the fact that her reason for wanting to kill innocent animals is for the sake of making an item of clothing only further emphasizes how psychopathic she is. Captain Hook The villain of the classic tale of Peter Pan, Captain Hook famously has a hook for a hand after his real hand was chopped off by Pan and fed to a crocodile. As a result, Hook suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, a condition that's made worse by the fact that the crocodile that ate his hand constantly follows him around after getting a taste for the pirate's blood. What heightens the condition further is the fact that the crocodile has an alarm clock in its belly, so its presence is always accompanied by a ticking sound. Is it any wonder that Hook acts how he does? His anger, his obsessive thirst for vengeance on Pan, and his constant state of jumpiness are caused by a horrific event that persistently haunts him. Elsa One of the main characters in the hugely successful Disney movie Frozen, Elsa was born with the magical ability to produce and manipulate ice and snow. Her early inability to control her powers resulted in some terrible events, such as nearly killing her own sister. As a result, Elsa developed disorders like paranoia and agoraphobia. No, don't touch me! Please, I don't want to hurt you. The paranoia rendered her terrified of using her powers for fear of causing more incidents, and the agoraphobia caused her to shut herself away from society in order to ensure she didn't hurt anybody else. Of course, after ultimately learning that love was the key to controlling her powers, she got over her issues. I knew you could do it. But she certainly had them for a long time. Thanks for watching our list of 10 Disney characters with serious mental disorders. Can you think of any others? Did we leave any major examples out? Let us know in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this one.